Hey everyone, welcome back to God With Us. My name is Nick Price. I'm a pastor of a church called Trinity in the Chicagoland area. And today I want to focus on the word repent. You see, I wasn't raised in church. And so my earliest recollections of hearing people say the word repent was usually people yelling at me. Preachers yelling at me from street corners saying that we all needed to repent. Repent almost sounded like an insult, like something was wrong with me and if I did and it and I was not one of the insiders because of it. But one of the things that I think we need to wrestle with is the fact that repent meant something very, very different in Jesus day. See, in our reading for today, we are introduced to John the Baptist, and one of the central things that he says in his ministry is that we need to repent. But the word repent simply means to turn. It means to turn from one way of going to another way of going. It's actually an invitation to a whole new kind of life. John says somebody is coming who's going to offer you an entirely different way of living. And so it's time to repent. It's time to turn from the dead end paths that we've been taking, paths that don't lead to life, and to turn and follow the one who alone can lead us into life everlasting. That really is the reason John was sent, was to prepare us, to prepare us for a new way of life. And so the word repent is an invitation really to everyone. It's an invitation to all of us because I think if we're honest with ourselves, we all do need to repent. We know it because life doesn't go the way that we think it should. Too often we live with broken dreams, broken relationships, unmet hopes and desires. We feel it even in those moments of celebration when we finally achieve the things that we always hoped would fill us up only to find that the very next day they don't. Something is still missing. And John says, if you want that kind of life, a life of fullness, of joy, of hope, of love, of peace, of purpose, he says, it's time to turn. It's time to turn from the ways that you've been going and turn back to Jesus, the one who alone can satisfy the deepest longings of our hearts. And so that's my encouragement to you today. What are the paths that you've been taking that haven't been leading to life? Bring those before Jesus today and ask him to show you what it means to walk in the ways in which he leads us. My challenge to you today is to accept the invitation and to repent.